So Deus Ex previously introduced the ability to edit assemblies while maintaining a persistent view, no matter how the assembly is oriented and positioned on the outside. It turned out, however, that this had some issues when the assembly is scaled negatively, like in the case of this hand design, which is mirrored by scaling it to minus one on X. This has been resolved in this release and the relative viewport alignment will persist here too. Of course, within the assembly, the objects are not mirrored, so that does change as you enter the assembly edit mode. However, relative to the entire assembly, the view persists, as you can see if you focus on the wrist. If you have the file browser tools activated in Blender 4.5, then you can not only adjust the thumbnail sizes in the asset browser for thumbnail view, but now also in list view. In Blender 4.4 or earlier, you could switch to the list view already, but it didn't have thumbnails yet. The column size in the list view is also adjustable by holding the Alt Mod key after you invoke the tool. And in addition to using the key map to toggle between the display types, you can still also do it via this button here. Or in Blender 4.5, you can now natively do it via this little drop down. The size settings for both the column and thumbnail sizes are then also stored when you toggle the asset browser via the toggle region tool. And finally, when you save or fetch your asset bookmarks, these list view sizes are stored and retrieved accordingly too. You can also see that the import method is shown here now, and this is done in Blender 4.5 because it's otherwise hidden in this drop down menu. So with the asset browser tools enabled, it will always be displayed for you. And it does that even if you use the follow press setting, where it's otherwise not even visible in the dropdown because it's fetched from the library and the preferences. In Blender 4.4, the import method is also shown now, but here only when the follow preps option is selected. In the previous 1.12 release, I've shown that when you are in local view and you run the select group tool, it reveals the group objects and brings them all into local view. However, you may also not be in local view at all and instead have everything but one object hidden. And you may then not actually want to unhide the other group objects while selecting the group. This is why you can now just toggle that behavior in the redo panel. So it selects the group empty without unhiding the other group objects that belong to it too. Furthermore, the ModesPy has received a small update for the UV editor. You can now find the lock bounds toggle directly here. Otherwise, you'd have to do it from the UV menu. Also, if you use the Workspace Pi, then you will know that it syncs your views between workspaces. And you may know that when you name a workspace and add the alt suffix, you can switch between original and alternative workspaces using a single button. Machine Tools will now remember which of the two alternatives you were in last when you leave a workspace and will then pick that last used one again when you go back to it. For instance, I'm in the Material Alt workspace here, and I switch back to my general workspace. If I now switch to Material again, the alternative workspace with the vertical split will be chosen, not the original one. And if I then return to the original horizontal one, then this is the one I will go back to when I switch to Material from one of the other workspaces. And beyond these changes, there are of course also a few bug fixes, which you can see in the change log if you're curious.